we're going to take this wireless lav mic and connect it to the DJI Mini 3 Pro RC controller and we're going to take it out in the field and give it a test. We'll also connect it to this mobile phone, bring it back into the studio and see what the sound quality is like in comparison. So let's dive in and take a look. So if you've been trying to work out how to get audio into your RC controller for the Mini 3 Pro, I've tried a couple of options that didn't work. So I've just bought a wireless lapel mic as you can see, it's connected here by Mini Bear that we're going to test out today. I'm currently using it on the mobile phone to see how that works. But as a backup, I'm filming uh, with the Sony A7R5 and I've got the Deity mic connected there so we can compare the sounds to all of them. So let's just get this connected to the drone, uh, to the RC controller, fly the drone, and let's see what that audio is like. Sinky sound and audio syncing sound and audio. We're going to look at active track and it will do parallel and it will do the follow mode either in front or behind. We will start by drawing a box around me. Point of interest where we give it the direction, the speed and it will do the rest. We can fly the drone around and it will just always keep me in the shot. Now I think this is a cracking little product. It simply charges at the bottom here and it will hold a charge. So if you're traveling, when you put your little lav mic back in there, it'll recharge it. They magnetically hold in so they don't fall out. The little receiver doesn't hold any charge and that will just plug into your controller or your phone. And then obviously the lav mic will clip onto you. I found it better if it's not too near your mouth. It's very sensitive, picks up sound really easily. You just little switch button here to hold it on. Hold it up for a few seconds. And then to connect this to your RC controller, it's through the flap here. So we just pop this open and you'll see a USB-C port just here and you connect that. And it's as simple as that. That's now connected and that will automatically record sound on the RC controller. Connecting this to the mobile phone, I've got the Samsung S23 Ultra. To get the best sound from this that in my camera app, that rather than using the video, the standard video function, if you go to Pro Video and then you can see I get a USB mic option and if I click on that I can adjust the the gain on there and so I brought that right down to minus 12 is the lowest I could take it and that worked much better otherwise it was just peaking out the whole time you can see with the waveform here now I'm just doing that here and it's fine and uh, otherwise it was just blowing out so that's just a little tip for setting your mobile phone up now we've got all the footage into the editing suite. We're using Final Cut Pro, so let's just take a look. Now, as you can see from the file here, when I've recorded onto the RC controller, I got quite similar sound quality but uh, than I did when recording onto the mobile phone. Although with the mobile phone, I did have to bring the gain right down to, to minus 12. And with the RC controller, I had to boot it up in post-production so it was a much softer sound coming through. What I did find is in effects I do drop on the compressor and a limiter. The main difference was is with the channel EQ so if we just take a look here if I pop this open you can see here I've given the the bass notes I've pushed them up a little bit especially with the high notes as well just a tiny bit just to brighten up the voice but with the frequencies in the center, I got a little bit of distortion, so I just pulled those down slightly. If I was to play this piece of audio to you. I'm going to look at active track, and it'll so do then, parallel, and it'll do the following. If I take those effects in off, front or behind. Let me just listen to that again. So firstly, we're going to look at active track, and it'll do parallel, and it'll do the follow mode. So I think you can probably hear that as well in those mid frequencies. The next thing you want to do is to be able to sync it to your drone footage. If we just take a look here, you can see 
To normally to sync sound like I am at the moment when you're recording onto a separate device, you'll use a clapperboard or you'll clap your hands so you get a spike in the sound and you can sync those together. Now obviously with the drone there's no sound on that, so you've got to use a visual cue. So by clearly clapping your hands together uh, to the drone camera, you'll get a spike. As a backup I'll do that to my external camera which was a Sony and then also do it to the drone so I've got both angles and there'll be a spike sound coming from the camera and from the RC controller so if we look here you can see I'm looking at the camera and you can see my hands clearly coming together and if I just hide that track at the moment this is from the rear view but you can see the drone uh, footage and you can see my hands coming together there and if I was to scrub either side you could see my hands just coming together and then again if I hide that track you can see what's coming through from the RC controller and you can see just there at the bottom that spike is the sound of me clapping. Now what I did notice is there's a slight delay. Do you notice that that spike is this the sound is in a slightly different place to where my hands actually come together. See my hands actually come together there and there's obviously a slight delay from the information coming from the drone to the RC controller. So you'll just, that's why it's also you'll have to listen and look to be able to line those up actually visually. I think this is a really great little device. I mean, it was under 20 pounds, so it's not expensive. Yes, I expected to be able to have to tweak the audio on it slightly. If you were spending a lot more money and getting a professional lav mic, then I think you'd get much better quality and you wouldn't have to do those little tweaks. But for the price to get this working, I think it's amazing, really good value and definitely worth having as a quick run and gun solution. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you've got any knowledge to share, pop it in the comments. If you subscribe to the channel, let us know so we can thank you and I will see you in the next one.